Good morning and welcome back to Handicrafts. So yesterday we did the bookmarks, right? Our pressed flower bookmarks. And maybe you did it in the morning and let it dry during the day and they're able to finish this in the evening. I did it later and let it dry overnight. So I'm gonna finish it now just to make sure that everything was dry and they all stuck, which is great. Um, so we're just gonna do the step two to finish and complete our bookmarks. So first thing we're gonna do is, I had some overflow with my leaves, right? So my leaves overflowed over the outside of my bookmark. And like I said yesterday, there are two options you can do here. You can either snip it off with your scissors, so you make it nice to that white, um, your white paper, or you could put something behind it, maybe color on some other paper, you've got some construction paper lying around, and you just make a larger piece of like backing paper to go behind it and add a little bit more color at the same time. Um, so there's two ways to go about it. What I'm going to do is just trim it with the scissors and seal it with the tape and show you guys that route. So I'm gonna do that. Just real careful. Obviously it cuts really easy, it's just the leaf. being very gentle just like that and so now all my pieces are flush with the edge of my bookmark okay so I have two types of clear tape I'm gonna use the bigger one but if you have a small one that does the same thing not a problem um, you just have to be really careful with your thin pieces to make sure you cover over all of your bits where the large one covers it much easier in one shot. So we're going to start with that. I'm trying to think which order we should do this. Because we want to poke a hole to be able to put a string and some beads in the top. Hmm. Let's do that after the plastic. Okay. So we're going to do find the edge of this, which is always super hard. We're just gonna super carefully lay a piece over the top and on the back so that we get our flowers all sealed in nice and tight so we can use it over and over. I'm gonna get some extra just so I can lay it down nice and flat. Go right about there and I'm gonna overlap outside of my bookmark so I'm actually gonna use two pieces you can lay it down right on the table if you have a a flat table obviously not if there's a tablecloth or anything that you're working on top of just lay it right down make sure it's nice and Press down on top of your flowers, on top of your paper. I'm gonna do the second piece. Sorry, it's kind of loud. Do the second piece right on top so that the layers overlap, right? We don't want any open space of paper and flowers. We wanna make sure it's all covered Give it a nice overlap to make sure it all seals up. Okay. Press it down. All right, and then we're going to carefully, carefully peel this up. So that it all comes up together. like that. See my overlaps on either side? Okay. So if you have a ton of overlap, you can probably just fold it around the outside. What I'm going to do is just repeat my process here and put a piece on, put, put another piece on the back. So full trim after. So just lay it down face up, right? Plastic side up, paper side up. 
and I'll go for round two. I'm trying to think. No, I'm still gonna have to do it two two pieces. Here's one. it's okay if you get a couple little wrinkles in the in the tape it's not a big deal press the air bubbles out if you can nice and tight and one little bit more just to make sure everything stays dry Oops, it's sticking to me press press okay so if you fold it over the back you should have super nice little clean corners but I did my sandwich with the bookmark on the inside and so now I'm just going to trim around and leave myself a nice little tape border okay don't trim it right to the edge of the paper because that'll let moisture in on the sides you want to leave a clear border of tape that is nice and sealed. And just cut nice and careful. Just like that. See, so my top edge still has some clear tape. And you can go as close as you want. Just not, not right to the edge of the paper. second edge. You can clean up your corners as you go. Make sure it's all even. There's three. The last one. like that okay all these sticky bits <laughs> all these sticky bits all right so here we go our nice sealed pressed flower bookmark for the summer of 2020 and now we get to bedazzle and have some fun so everybody should have gotten a ball of string or yarn um, this is a funky one that I had laying around in my house, so we're going to use some super colorful bits. And beads, if you want to add some beads, it's just a little fun thing to, to add on to the top. Alright, so I'm going to take a sharp pencil. Um, if you have super pointy scissors, you might be able to point through with that. These are round tips, so they wouldn't work. Um, various things, I'm sure you can find something and get creative with how to do that for yourself. We'll see if this is gonna work. And I should probably do it on a piece of cardboard. Let's see, here we go. Piece of cardboard or a nice thick couple layers of thick paper will work just to protect the surface you're on. Okay, so right in the middle, right up at the top. I'm gonna use a punch and see if this goes through. Fingers crossed. Yep, there we go. So that one popped right through. If you have a hole punch, that'd be even better. I do not have one here. So I'm just gonna open this up a little bit to make sure my string fits through. Just a little spot, just a little baby one. So we don't want it to tear at all. Hole punches make nice, even circles, which would look really good. All right, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of string, given I can find the end, and tie a nice, here we go, just a little knot, almost like a ribbon, so that it sticks out the sides of your book. That looks pretty. A little snip, 
Let's see if I can poke this through. Like I said, if you have ribbon, I don't know, tinsel, anything super fun, super shiny, put a little bow, put a little knot. I'm just gonna do a little knot because this yarn loves to unravel. You can leave it like that. Or if you want to, and I'm going to just because I really like the blues that are in here, I'm gonna put two little blue beads at my ends. And what, you don't wanna put them up at the top, right? Because if you put this in your book, you wanna make sure, you could probably put it at the top, but you wanna make sure that it can close flat, right? So if you shove it in a bigger book, kind of in the middle, then you'd have beads on the inside of your book. So I'm gonna do them on the, on the ends of my string, on the ends of my yarn, so that when it's like this, it kind of flaps around, makes a cool noise on the outside of the book. I don't know, it's kind of fun. So, let's see if I can do that. With my ends of my string, put a little knot on the end so it doesn't fall off. There we go. There's one. And I'll do the other one. See how it dangles. knot around the bead keep that little guy in place there we go there is my completed bookmark so my ends are a little bit different lengths they flip around which is lots of fun throw it in your book and there you are so Make sure you send pictures of what yours ends up looking like, right? All your, all your little drawings or your labels, how big they are, how little they are, all the fancy ties you put on. Maybe you want to put multiple colors of string. Maybe you want to fill your pieces with beads, almost like a bracelet. I want to see it. So here we go. Pressed flower project number one. Thanks, everybody.